Welcome to Biz on Tap, brought to you by SCB Entrepreneurship. This is a place where you can learn some important skills and tips as an entrepreneur who's wanting to turn an amazing idea into a brilliant startup. The most essential part of any business is the customer. Without your customer, you simply have no business. Today we're going to look at what a customer is, what segments they make up, and how you can build a customer profile for your business. So we can define a customer as someone who purchases goods or a service from a business or an individual. This cause and effect creates the demand for goods and services and creates a bridge between the value of our business and our customer's problem or need. We can immediately separate our interaction with our customers into two processes. B2C, which is a quick way of saying business to customer, and B2B, which is business to business. Now customers come from different cultures, places, histories and backgrounds. They have very different needs, incomes, spending habits, tastes, preferences and problems that they need solving. Your business will be supplying a product or service that is as varied and unique. You are a customer as well and as you know, while one person may need to buy an expensive pair of shoes every month, another may simply be happy with an old pair that lasts for a year. One person's barley is another man's beer. Whatever your product, it is important to know your market and who your true customers are. This is not a limiting process, nor is it an exact science, but it is an important start so that you don't end up selling ice to Eskimos. To help us define who our customers are, the business world divides customers into various segments. Mass market. This is a group that is broad and varied, with potential clients of all ages, behaviors, demographics, and even regions. A cell phone service provider or a supermarket chain will be an example of a company with a mass market appeal. Niche market. This customer segmentation is based on the specialized needs and characteristics of its clients. This could be anything from handbags to yoga mats to gluten-free beer. Segmented. This indicates a customer grouping which is further distinguished based on gender, age, income, or other specific characteristics. A certain segment would make use of companies which make products such as nail polish and walking sticks. Diversified. A business here would serve multiple customer segments with different needs and characteristics. Let's say for example that SAB decided to branch out and offer a variety of different company profiles, such as designer fridges and packaged snacks to accompany the beer experience. It would then literally have diversified from a product perspective. Multi-sided platforms. For a smooth day-to-day -day business operation, some companies will serve mutually dependent customer segments. A credit card company will provide services to your credit card holders while simultaneously assisting merchants who accept those credit cards. Now matching your idea or your product with a customer segment doesn't have to be a daunting task. We are all customers and so instinctively we know for ourselves what we like and what we don't like according to our very own needs. We live in a golden age of information. There are simply no excuses. So get out there into the field and do some research. Googling is great, but nothing beats some hands-on investigation. There are three things that we can do today to determine who our customers would be. By gathering, analyzing, and interpreting information from many sources, you too will be able to determine your very own customer profile. From your analysis, you will begin to really understand some of the important characteristics of your customer segments. This is an ongoing process. And as each part of your business clicks into place, you will soon constantly return to linking what you offer to your customer segments. Each group will have differences, especially when it comes to the following. Distribution channels. How do they receive your product? Do they visit a store or order online? Do they pay cash or even have a credit facility with you? The relationship you have with your customer will be different depending on the segment. Will you meet them face to face? Will they visit an office? Will they be local or international? There is a very clear difference in the level of profitability each group represents for an organization. In this way, you won't outprice or even undercut yourself. Can they afford to buy your product? Each consumer group can often feel strongly enough about a different version of a product or service which is tailored to their needs that they are willing to even pay more. Are they willing to pay more to get more? As you can see, Asking questions is key to understanding. 
I hope you enjoy your investigative journey and don't be scared to interview your would-be competitors. It is, after all, the best way to learn from an established business as to how they link their product offering with their customers' needs. Thanks again for joining us at BizOnTap. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.